Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to set up the Netkiller Barcode Scanner app. To begin, you'll want to download the correct Barcode Capture app for your mobile device. If you use an Android, install ZXing. If you use an iOS, install pic to shop If you want to use the Laser Barcode Scanner on a desktop, connect the scanner to your computer. After you install the app to your device, Launch the app from either your desktop or mobile device. To access the app from your desktop, visit the web address link, bcscannerappspot.com. When the app requests access permission to your Google Drive, click Allow. First, you will design a form for your input screen and it will automatically generate a Google spreadsheet. It is much easier to design the form from a desktop than a small mobile screen. From the home screen, click Create New Form. Click the arrows on the barcode field for the drop-down menu options of field types. We have many field types to select from when designing your custom form. Choose your first field. I will choose the barcode field, which will automatically input and store the barcode number to your Google spreadsheet when you scan a barcode. To add more fields, click Add Field. Continue to add more fields until you have created a form fit for your purposes. First, I will choose the timestamp field. Now, short answer, drop down, number count, and GPS. To access more field edit options, click the plus sign on a field. From here, you can rename, require, disable and delete specific fields. Here I'm changing the field title to item name, changing this title to location, adding options for the location, Changing this to quantity. Once you have designed your form, you can preview it. Select Preview Form for a pop-up view of your form. Once you are ready to publish your form, click Complete and Save. You will now be required to fill out the form when you scan a barcode. Please note that you can always edit the form after publishing. You will also receive a notification that a Google Sheet has been created in your Google Drive. This spreadsheet contains inputted information from your form text fields and will automatically be updated each time the form is submitted. To locate the spreadsheet, make sure you are logged into the same Gmail account you were logged into when the form was designed. Then go to your Google Drive and locate NetKiller Barcode Scanner 2.0. From the spreadsheet, you can click on the title to rename the sheet to fit your purposes. Please do not change the first row as the sheet is connected with the form. To view your form field data, click the Barcode Scanner tab at the bottom of the spreadsheet. Once users begin scanning items and submitting the forms via their mobile device, information will automatically be inputted and updated onto the Google spreadsheet. Click the History tab to view a record of all initial scans and repeated scans with updated information. Under the Action column, new barcode numbers are inputted as Insert, while Rescan barcodes are inputted as an Update. And now you can launch the app by opening your mobile browser or computer and entering the URL nbcscanneropspot.com. Then log in with your Google account and click Scan to scan your assets. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope you found it helpful.